Hey guys, it's Mo here. Uh, I'm back with another fragrance review, and today we're going to be reviewing something that is not actually talked a lot about in the fragrance community. Um, I don't even know if the brand is really that well known, but it's from the house of Frank Olivier. It's called Oud Vigny. Um This is the bottle. If you look at the bottle, it's like a nice little, uh, it's a very basic uh, bottle, it's square, it's a purple color to it, it has a um, you know, snap-on cap, nothing too crazy, just a simple design, but it works. I'm surprised no one has really talked about this, I'm surprised this doesn't get that much buzz, because this, this is a champion, like this thing is a monster. Um, surprisingly, I think the only person that actually did a full review um, was my man Chad from Shaving on the Dark Side. Uh, I think, you know, I was looking at other YouTube reviews and literally no, you know, no, nobody has really uh, done a review on this. So, I don't know why, but this is, this is an amazing fragrance. First of all, I paid about like $22 from uh for this i bought this on amazon about a year ago and this blew my mind um if you like gourmand fragrances if you like uh you know like vanilla is one of your favorite notes if you like car caramel you got to try this out if you're not a fan of sweet fragrances uh maybe stay away from this because this is very sweet it's very strong um you see the spray uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna do a little spray the spray is not the strongest spray but it does look I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's a pretty decent sprayer. And whoa, that initial spray, you get vanilla. You get a nice, strong blast of vanilla. You get a little bit of caramel in there. And you do smell a little bit, a little bit of oud. So, well, wow, that is strong. And I guarantee you that's, <laughs> that's going to last like forever. I'm going to smell that tomorrow probably. So, this one is literally vanilla and oud. Like exactly how the name says, oud vanille. But the thing is, the oud... Okay, so the main player is vanilla. Vanilla takes center stage. You get a, you do smell a little bit of uh, caramel in there. The oud is just in the background, and you know it's just, it's you know it's not a dry, dirty, animalic. You know, it's not a skanky oud. It's a nice, it's a nice wearable oud. Like, cause it's it's just not too strong. You know, um, people are not going to be off put by this. So if you're new to the oud game, I think this is a really good. This is a really good one. Because the oud complements the vanilla so well that this smells, this smells amazing. It's, it's like vanilla wrapped up with some oud, vanilla and caramel, and you just wrap it up with some, uh, you know, just, oh my god, dude, like, you see, I can't stop smelling myself. Like this, this is this, this is great. I love vanilla fragrances. I love sweet fragrances, gourmands. This is amazing. For twenty two dollars, like I, I kid you not, this, this. Oud Vanille sounds like something from a Tom Ford private blend line. Um, if Tom Ford put his name on this, this could easily sell for like two hundred fifty dollars because it smells, it smells niche quality. Um, like it, also in terms of projection, it's a monster. I remember I put I had this on um, the other day. I went to the deli, and while I was getting my sandwich, um, the cashier for, from the counter asked if I swear if I like oud fragrances and this was so random because you know I go to the deli all the time he never we never talk about fragrances or anything I didn't even know he was into fragrances so he asked me if I like oud fragrances I'm like yeah if, yeah of course uh, you know why do you why do you ask that and he's like brother I could smell you you know all the way from here mind you he was three feet away from me you know over the counter so and this was about eight hours no six hours into the into the day after I sprayed this so this is a fragrance that projects like long distances you know if you spray too much you might kill somebody so be careful on the spray with this one I usually go one spray here one behind the neck I am good now if it's if it's one of those days where it's gonna be super cold you know I will spray on the side of my shoulders um, just because I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be layered up so you know it's not you know the the layers of clothes will stop it from you know, projecting and like hitting people in the face. Um, so yeah, be be careful. I use this one. Two sprays, I think you're good. Um, also, I sprayed a little bit lower, you know, around my chest area, not directly in the neck, just because you know I don't want it to, because it, it projects a lot. So you know, I really don't want it to, you know, 
if I'm doing, if I'm in a close encounter with somebody, I don't want them to, you know, just choke them out. So, you know, be, be careful how you wear your fragrances, especially stuff that's very sweet and strong, like this one. The, not only does it project, the longevity on this is ridiculous. You know, I sprayed this at 8 a.m. in the morning, and I think when I got home around like 10 p.m., still smelled it. So that's 14 hours on my skin. And the sweater I was wearing, I put it on three days later, and I still smelled the vanilla and the oud. So this thing is a freaking monster. On clothes, it'll probably last you forever. On skin, way more than 12 hours. And mind you, $20 for this. Unbelievable. I suggest, if you're watching this, go to Amazon right now and get yourself a bottle. Because I think it's still like $20, $25. And there's only like three of them left. So amazing, amazing fragrance. I recommend this 100%. This was definitely top 10 on my, on my winner's list. Um, something that I rocked throughout the cold winters of New York. It's still kind of cold here, so I'm still going to be wearing this. Um, so yeah, once again, Oud Vigny by Frank Olivier. I recommend this. Give this give this a shot. Definitely worth the blind buy, especially for the price. So, you know, so get it while it's cheap because I have a feeling like if the fragrance community gets behind this, the price is going to skyrocket. Anyways, guys, um, thanks for uh, watching this video. Um, I'll see you guys next time. I got to run back to work. Um, so I'll see you guys later, alright? Have a nice day, guys.